trying to say? Am I the only person who works around here? Do you think you have a slave for a mother? Get back to work. And don't think you can beat me. These walls are my ears. These windows are my eyes. I'm always watching you. And you! Can't you make something that we can sell besides these useless toys? When we all starve to death, it'll be your fault. Well? Why do I bother to feed you? You don't deserve to eat. Why should I bother to feed you, lazy and ungrateful children? For the pleasure of a measly bowl of gold and pepper? Not me. I just won't do it. You take their side against mine. Am I their mother or aren't I? Who besides me will bother to teach them their table manners? Will you have animals for children? Get up there, the two of you, and may you starve to death before I ever feed you again. stepsisters ripped up the dress that all the little animals made for her. She goes back to her room in the attic and says, they can take almost everything, but they can't take my dreams.
Jocko. Why can't you take care of us all the time? Why does that awful woman have to live with us? Couldn't we just run away? Hush, my little dove. She's not here with us now. Maybe someday she'll roll away. For now, just close your eyes and wish her away. Someday we'll all be safe again. Close your eyes and I'll sing you a song. Take a little walk in the woods. Hmm? We're going for a walk. What a glorious bosky day. think about are those stupid little children. Did you ever think about how much easier it might be without them? Do you ever think about me? You? Have you done something to them? What have you done with them? To our two dear little birdlets? What do you mean? Why, just this afternoon I went out into the woods and called and called until my poor throat ached. <laughs> Take it from me. It's just another one of their nasty little tricks. I'll get it. Well, 
joke, Chicklets. I'm not sure you deserve this and the fright you gave us yesterday, but your father left this present for you with special instructions for you to open it this morning. Why doesn't he give it to us? Why doesn't he give it to us? Because, mud for brains, he went to town to try to sell some of those ridiculous toys. Open it. Ta-da! <laughs> wow! Oh, it's beautiful! But when did Dad make it? I've never seen him do a duck before. He wanted it to be a surprise. He wanted you to be the first to try out his latest idea. <sighs> what a beautiful day! Suppose the four of us go for a little walk. You said Daddy had to go to town today. But you said Daddy had to go to town. Do you see your father anywhere around here? Did I see your father be tagging along? No, you stupid little slug. If you just listen, I'll tell you who I meant. I meant me, your dippy little brother, your pea brain self, and the duck. But if you don't want to take it, we'll just leave the duck at home. It doesn't matter to me if you insult your father. No, no, we'll take the duck.
Come in, dearies. Come in. We don't want you standing outside in the cold doorstep now, do we? Come in and have some candy. be very sleepy weepy after their long journey. Hmm? Well then, that's what I suspected. Come along, dearies. I have just the thing. more attention to your safety, dear. They are marshmallow beds, designed specifically for the butteriest of sweetery dreams. Besides, haven't you noticed yet? Almost everything in my house is edible. Good night, my dear little cousins. Good night. Take those paper 
every little bound. The weather down there. Listen, kid. If you play your cards right, you'll be out of there in no time. And besides, you're the guest of honor for dinner tonight. And I know you love the <laughs> Handful come to pay me a visit. Is he a famished little boy? Hmm? Does he want a nice big bite? Who are you? Don't you kids read anymore? I'm Dan Dan, the gingerbread man. Usually just your run of the mill midnight snack, but in this case, more like the Last Supper. What are you talking about? You want me to eat you? Don't be such a baby. Just imagine crumbly crust, squishy insides, cinnamon aroma. Just start with an eeny, weeny little bite. Well, maybe just a taste. That's it. What have you done with Hansel? <laughs> Well, dear, I might tell you, it all depends on how well you do with fire. Fire? The fire to cook your brother in, in himself. Do you expect me to eat him raw? Hello, my little If you think I'm tasty and you want my body, come on, Hansel, take a bite. I'm not eating anymore. You're disgusting. I said take another bite. You know, Hannibal, I feel pretty crummy. <laughs> Shut up! Finish me! Finish me! Open the hangar. Here comes the airplane. No! <laughs> One more second boy, my favorite country bunch. Coming up! <laughs> well, my dear. If you've got any last words you want to say to your brother, you'd better say them now. Hello, my little lamblet. We've been planning your epitaph. And now, my favorite treat. Roast boilet with cookie stuffing. I hope a little dandan fattened you up.
gone. She's gone. again. What happened? She's gone. We'll never see her again. So now we're safe, like we used to be, remember? Listen. It's no <laughs> screaming. <laughs> oh, I love you. You know what I want to do? I want to make a nice, cozy fire, toast some marshmallows, sing some songs, and make us the best spaghetti dinner we've ever had. How about it? But then we still don't have any money. 